All right, so this is going to lead us into finding the derivative of trig inverse functions. It's also going to help us find the derivative of log functions, which are the inverse of exponentials. So before we get started, the entire definition of a inverse is that it takes your inputs and it takes your outputs and it swip swaps them. So here we have sine of y equals x, which means that sine inverse of x equals y. So what we're going to do <coughs> is we want to figure out, hey, what's the derivative of sine inverse of x? Okay? So really what that's asking is what's the derivative of sine inverse whoops, of x equals y? Whoops. So what we want to know is, hey, what's the derivative of sine inverse of x? Well, since these two things mean the same, that's the same thing as asking, hey, what's the derivative of sine y equals x? So if we do the derivative of sine y equals x, that would be a lot easier because we already know what the derivative of sine is. The derivative of sine is cosine. Now remember, because we took the derivative with respect to y, we have to tag on a y prime here, equals, and the derivative of x is just 1. So y prime equals 1 over cosine of y. Now here's the issue with this, is usually if we take the derivative of something with an x in it, I shouldn't pop out a y randomly, right? That just seems weird. So I would really like to rewrite this in terms of x. So here's how I'm going to do that. Remember that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So remember, sine of y equals x, so I can replace this guy with an x squared plus cosine squared y equals 1. Now when I solve for that cosine of y, I'm going to have cosine squared y equals 1 minus x squared. Take the square to both sides, so I'm going to have cosine of y equals the square root of 1 minus x squared. So the whole reason I did that, remember, is because I want this to be in terms of x and not in terms of y. So what that tells me is that y prime equals 1 divided by 1 minus x squared. So the derivative of sine inverse of x equals 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Awesome. Now, finding the derivative of all the other trig functions is just as tedious, so they are right here for you. They're also in your book, so you can check those out there. <clears throat> so let's use these to find the derivative of some different functions. Now, here's one key thing I want us to remember, is that sine inverse of the input, so whatever we put into it, is going to be 1 divided by 1 minus that input squared. So, for example, if we want to find the derivative of y equals sine inverse of 1 minus x to the fifth, then my input is at 1 minus x to the fifth. So my derivative is going to be 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus that input squared. Okay, so remember, that x is just whatever I'm inputting into my sine. Now, because that's not just a regular x, it's another function, I still need to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So that's going to be times negative 5x to the fourth. All right, let's look at the next one. So I have cosine inverse of sine inverse of x. 
So I'm inputting into cosine sine inverse. So let's look at the cosine inverse. So if I do cosine inverse, it's going to take whatever I plug into it and it's going to make it negative 1 over 1 minus that input squared. So y prime will be negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus, remember, whatever I'm inputting into it, squared. Now I still need to multiply by the derivative of the inside, so what's the derivative of sine inverse? It is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Great, all right, last but not least, let's look at taking arctan of x cubed. So, first off, I'm going to have to use the chain rule, so I have my outside function, which is that I'm cubing something, and then I have my inside function, which is arctan. Now, Arctan is actually just another fancy way of saying tan inverse. So the derivative of tan inverse is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So when I take the derivative of this guy, the derivative of the outside would be 3. Leave the inside alone, so tan inverse. Remember, same thing as arctan squared times the derivative of tan inverse, which is 1 over 1 plus x squared. All right, so that does it for um, section 3.5. Remember, I'm going to be posting additional examples, so keep an eye out for those if you would like to look at them.